Here's a quick little video to show you how to change out this headlight assembly on a second generation Dodge truck like this. This is the old one. You can see moisture's gotten inside. It looks pretty bad. Doesn't put out any light. There's the new replacement from Amazon. I think the set, uh, both drivers and passenger side was about 60 bucks. They did include the headlamp bulbs. They did not include the marker light bulb. Go figure. That's what you get. All right, so real quick, to take this off, you have to pull this bolt here, which is relatively straightforward. You have to pull this one down here, which requires some contortion. A U-joint on the ratchet helped with that. And then on this side over here, you have to take that bolt right there loose. That will release the housing, but the housing will not fit out between the fender and the bumper even with the plastic guard removed so what you have to do is take that screw out right there and then there are three little clips i'll try to point to it there's one of them right there and there's two more on the top side you have to pop those clips to remove the headlight and the marker light from the housing then you can take the three pieces out separately i'm going to do that and then i'll come back to you all right, now the three bolts that hold this plastic housing in place have been removed. And the little screw that holds the marker light down on the bottom has been taken out so that you can unconnect the wiring harness. All right, now that I got the marker light housing out of the way, you can see the bolt just hangs freely there. The edge of the housing is loose. And these are those clips I was telling you about right here on top. There's three of them. There's two here on top and there's one on the bottom. You gotta pry those off to remove this headlight from the housing because it will not fit out through the hole in one piece. All right, with the first one removed, you can see how it fits together. It's like a little ball and socket here that's held down with that retainer clip right there. I used a flat tip screwdriver to pry it off with. All right, once these three ball sockets have been loosened up, you can pull the headlight free of the housing and you'll see there that it gives you just enough rope on the cord so that you can easily remove this harness connector from the back of the bulb. Once the bulbs are out of the way you can remove this housing in one piece with minimal trouble. It doesn't come easy but it's not a real hard thing to get out either. So then looking in the hole you can see our three mounting attachment points. One, two and then three and we remove the socket from the back of the bulb there and i was able to just leave the marker bulb hanging in place again as i mentioned before the new headlight from amazon comes with the headlight bulb but it does not come with the marker light bulb i couldn't begin to explain to you why the new housing fit into place as easy as the old one came out. Notice I have not fastened it down into place because you need it loose so that you can move it around to refasten your little metal clips. So here you'll notice that I've got the bottom one fastened on first. That's easier. Well, you can take it to the bank when I tell you that it is way easier to install the bottom one of these first than to do the top two and then fight the bottom one into place. That's what I did on the other side earlier and it took three times as long and I banged up my knuckles good with it. Now that the three screws that hold the housing assembly into place, right there, right there, and right down there are back into place, you'll notice that this new replacement headlight has this piece of rubber weather stripping on it that my old one did not have anymore. You have to pull these little plastic pins and reinstall them to hold down the strip. All right, so now we have these pins reinstalled with the new weather stripping. And we come over here where you use this groove, that little pin, that pin and this hole right here to line up and situate your marker light housing. 
All right, and right there you can see the screw that holds the marker light assembly in place once everything's lined up. And boy, I can tell you, to get all these pins like that one right there lined up requires a little bit of wiggling and finesse to make it happen. All right, so there you have it. Well, it's certainly not perfect. You can tell the night and day difference between the new one and the old one. The light output should be much superior. This is kind of cool. You have to pay extra for the fish tank model. Uh, for those of you that were paying attention, you've probably seen why so much effort is being put into dressing up this old pig. I put a little lipstick on them. Custom ratchet strapping to hold the bumper together. As well as true and authentic zinc plated hardware.